Good morning. I'm Gary Jacobs, President and Chief Executive Officer of the World Academy of Art and Science. I'm very pleased to be here today for the inaugural session of the Sixth International Scientific Congress, Globalistics 2020, Global Problems and the Future of Humanity. I previously attended two of these conferences live in Moscow. I know how important they are, how valuable they are, and how timely it is that we're consult conducting a conference on this topic today at this very moment in history. I'm grateful to the organizers, Lomonosov Moscow State University, and the Russian Academy of Sciences, for undertaking this event during such a difficult moment in history. I'm also pleased that the World Academy is partnering with UNESCO and Club of Rome in this event. The, the World Academy is a, a partner of cons with consultative status with UNESCO, and a few of our fellows hold prestigious UNESCO chairs. We congratulate UNESCO on its 75th anniversary this year, uh, an organization that has such enormous potential for supporting peaceful global social evolution. We cannot exaggerate its importance to the future of humanity. Indeed, former Director General of UNESCO, Federico Mayor, is one of our distinguished fellows and sits on the advisory committee of the Academy. I'm also very pleased to be partnering with the Club of Rome and congratulate the Club on its 50th anniversary. Our association with the Club goes back many decades Today, more than 30 fellows of the Academy are also leading leaders and members of the Club of Rome. I myself am a member. Our two organizations are currently partnering on two important projects, and we're very pleased to work together on this event today. The year 2020 also is the 60th anniversary of the World Academy of Art and Science, WAS as we call it. The Academy was founded in 1960 by eminent intellectuals, including Albert Einstein, Bertrand Russell, Robert Oppenheimer, known as the father of the atomic weapon, the atomic bomb. Uh, it included Professor Needham, the co-founder of UNESCO, uh, Lloyd Borg, or the first director general of FAO, Dr. Chris Holm, the first director general of WHO, and many other distinguished scientists and intellectuals. Imminent scientists from this region in the past include Sergei Kapitsa, uh, Ilya Prigogine, Peter Tim Sorokin, uh, today Kasim Jomar Tokayev, the president of Kazakhstan, and five leading members of the Russian Academia, including Yuri Osipov, the president of the Russian Academy of Science, Ruslan Grinberg, the UNESCO Chair for Globalistics here at Moscow State University, Yuri Saramov. The World Academy of Art and Science is not structured and operating according to the traditional pattern of national academies. From the very start, we worked as a multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary organization. We're not divided by scientific discipline we are focusing on specific global issues. The objective of the Academy is to examine the social consequences and policy implications of knowledge and the social responsibility of science and technology and academia for addressing pressing global challenges. We currently are collaborating with the United Nations office in Geneva on a project called Global leadership in the 21st century, a topic which we'll be discussing here at the Congress later today, and with the United Nations in New York on another project called the Future of Capital. We can't overestimate the importance of this sixth international Congress. Today the world faces multi-dimensional challenges of unparalleled urgency and significance. The most immediate of them, of course, we are all familiar with, the COVID-19 pandemic, which has paralyzed the life of large portions of the world. It's had tremendous economic impact, far greater likely than the 2008 financial crisis 
and potentially in some areas approaching even the devastation of the Great Depression. At the same time, we see the resurgence of Cold War mentality and competition, which threatens to revive the oppressive international climate of the Cold War and nuclear arms race. We see rising inequality. Both the opportunities and the challenges posed by the rapid onset of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, and of course, looming beyond and above all of them, the existential threat of climate change. There's an urgent need for us to halt the retreat to competitive nationalism and economic rivalry, to restore and strengthen multilateral institutions and multilateral diplomacy. We need a quest for a new paradigm for human, for human affairs, a value-based paradigm that's inclusive of all humanity, that's focused on the need for fairness and equality and security, human security for all in a world we share and can never uh, separate from one another. We need also to develop the theoretical framework for a comprehensive theory and knowledge of this process of global social evolution. We also need practical catalytic strategies that can break the logjam of inertia, entrenched powers, vested interests that slow, obstruct, and halt humanity's progress at this critical juncture. We at the Academy look forward with great anticipation to the proceedings of this Congress and to working with the scientists and intellectuals who are participating in it and all the partnering institutions who are involved in it, not only here, but for our work with the United Nations on global leadership. And we look forward to a close and fruitful association with you in future. Thank you. <laughs>